Hey brothers and sisters, I just want to do a video just praising the Lord and reminding you all that God is with us. I made a video probably last year or the year before when our car started spinning out of control in the winter and how I called out to God and miraculously we were heading for those trees. We were so close to those trees and miraculously the car just like did a like a u-turn kind of thing and um our car was not in our car was no worse for wear and our you know my heart was thumping like crazy but um we were fine we were totally fine we just had to wait for somebody to come pull us out and something similar happened on saturday my husband and i were driving in this back road and my daughter was in the back seat and we were driving on this back gravel road and I guess his speed was probably like the speed limit but when you go on the speed limit on those gravel roads can be quite fast anyways we're going and all of a sudden out of nowhere we're on the opposite side of the road and he's in he's like spinning it this way spinning it this way trying to get it under control it, it felt a lot like when you're spinning out of control in winter and again, we have trees extremely close to us on the right-hand side. And I start yelling out, Lord, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, help us, Lord Jesus, please, Lord Jesus. And I just kept, like, just kept calling out Jesus's name. That's all I did. Nothing else. I was scared, but I was just throwing out the name Jesus, 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 Jesus. And we're spinning out of control for, I don't know how long it is. It felt like 30, 40 seconds, but it could have been less. I don't know. It, or it could have been more. I don't know. In that in that time frame, you don't take out a phone and you know calculate the length of time, of course. <laughs> but anyways, we're spinning out of control like crazy, and then all of a sudden, as I'm calling out to the Lord, the car just becomes even, like right on the curb, like right when we're about to head into where the trees are, right before we head into the ditch. Um, then it just started going straight and it's like oh my gosh and I just knew it was God I just knew it and my heart was thumping and I was just I was almost happy it happened afterwards just because it is so amazing to feel the presence of God answering a prayer so quickly and and just knowing that he's always there for you and this has happened so many times for us because our career is driving and we often drive in the winter and sometimes we drive in back roads and you know these kind of things happen sometimes and but my husband he is a fantastic driver he is so cautious so careful he's really gotten used to winter roads winter driving so he like really slows down his motto is basically if we get there safely i don't care how long it takes just as long as we get there safely so yeah we drive very safe but there are times when things like that happen a tire pops like the one time i was driving many uh, a couple years ago probably five or six years ago i don't know and i'm driving and all of a sudden and i'm on a highway and all of a sudden my tire pops and immediately i'm driving on rim so one second i'm on my side of this this road the next second i'm on the opposite side of the road where the incoming traffic was coming and this was a highway and thank god there was no oncoming traffic at that moment and me I'm the type of person who would panic I would panic but with God on my side I I literally I took the time to look in my rear view mirror to see if I could go back into my lane I go back into my lane and I slow down and I get to the side of the road and put in my four-way indicators but it's like that wasn't me that was God and I, it's like just knowing that we are walking this walk and we have God on our side is so encouraging because this world oh my goodness it can be a very scary place for us but I, I especially like um, Psalm 9111 he will put his angels uh, his uh, angels will take charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways and and I just I just know that God is on our side and if God is with us who can be against us and so I just open this up, um, open Bible.info topics, God taking care of us. And, you know, you can, I'll put this link in 
the description box so you can kind of go through them and just be motivated and understand that God is with you in whatever you are going through. If you are sick or if you have a loved one who's not saved or whatever it is you're going through or if there's something, a scary situation like, like, like the car, car accident or anything like that, always, always your first response should be to call out to Jesus. Like, was it the apostle, apostle, who was that? Was it, no, it wasn't Matthew. Why can't I, why can't I think of his name? His name just totally escaped my mind. Peter. Okay, Peter, there it is. Oh my goodness. I think it was Peter. He walked out onto the, onto the water and he started, his faith started going down and he started going down to the water and his prayer was Lord help and I think it's Pastor JD who says that is one of the most powerful prayers in the Bible Lord help <laughs> and it's it that that's exactly how we need to react in this world if something is going wrong if something is scary just call in the name of the Lord do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication and thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And I know a lot of you are KJV only. Um, this particular website goes in English Standard Version. But um, there's 66 verses about God taking care of us. If you want to see these verses in King James Version, of course, you can just look them up in King James. Casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Therefore, do not be anxious saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear? My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Fear not, I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. So now faith, hope, and love abide, these three, but the greatest of these is love. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. So, you know, go through these verses if you want and just be encouraged that God is with us. He is with us all of our days. And then sometimes I think about those who are persecuted in the Middle East, the ones who are dying for their faith. And I pray that, and I believe this to be true, I pray that the Lord is there with them, comforting their hearts, speaking to their hearts, letting them know that He is with them. Because God says that a, He will give us a peace that passes understanding. So. When you think of our persecuted brothers and sisters, those that are dying for their faith, just remember to pray that they, pay, they die a painless death, a fast death, and that Jesus is glorified, and that God is with them every step of the way, every minute that they're in exile, every moment that there's a peace that passes understanding inside their hearts. Because I know sometimes, when I read these verses about God being with us, it's like, but what about those who are dying for their faith? But our faith, Christianity, all throughout the ages, we've had martyrs for the faith. Even the apostles, um, most of them died for their faith. So 
we know that God will take care of us in this world and even in our deaths I believe that he will be there with us so continue to pray for our persecuted brothers and sisters worldwide and just read these verses encourage yourself just continue reading the word every day and put on that full armor of God and keep Psalm 91 close to your heart because God can and will protect your family let me go over to Psalm 91 real quickly the psalm this is my favorite psalm i love this psalm he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in him will i trust surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon thee, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Maranatha. Maranatha.